Hey makers, this is Charlotte with The Wooden Wick Co. And today I'm excited to teach you how to make a color wick candle. Welcome, we now have wooden wicks available in a variety of colors and sizes to suit most any candle project. I'm gonna teach you guys today about all of the components you need in order to make a color wick candle, as well as walk you through the steps of how to actually complete one. The first thing that you're going to need is some candle wax. Today I'm utilizing our cocoa apricot cream, which is a luxurious blend of coconut, apricot, and food grade paraffin wax. It's great for beginners and has a superb fragrance throw, and it's gonna give you a smooth, even top after your first pour. You will also need a vessel, something to put your candle into. Be sure to choose a vessel that's safe for candle making. Today, I'm utilizing our iridescent Prism Aura, which is a fun and colorful kind of rainbow inspired vessel, which I thought was perfect as inspiration to go along with our color wicks. Also, I have our daffodil yellow color wick, and this is a single ply wick, which works best with our cocoa apricot cream. And I'm gonna be using it in 0.625 inches wide, which is the appropriate width for our aura vessel. If you need help with determining which color wick to use for your candle project, head to woodenwick.com and navigate to our wick selection guide. The wick selection guide will ask you your wax type as well as your vessel diameter and will give you a recommendation for where to start with your testing on which wick is best for you. Now everyone's favorite part, we're going to need some fragrance. Today I chose our Toasted Coconut and Midnight Amber Fragrance Oil. It is a super sexy, summery fragrance that smells like sunscreen a little bit, long day on the beach. Um, it takes me away to a tropical destination and is a beautiful fragrance year round, but I especially love it during the summertime. Also to go along with our wick, we need a wick clip to hold it in place and some wick stickers that will secure our wick and clip assembly to the bottom of your vessel. You will also need a pouring pitcher, a scale, and something to mix your melted wax and fragrance oil together, as well as a, th a thermometer to keep tabs on the temperature of your wax as it's melting. I'm making a lot of candles today, so I've already pre-melted some wax, which I've heated to 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the optimal pouring temperature for cocoa apricot cream. So let's get started. First things first, take your wick and your wick clip, and you can simply place your wick into the center of the wick clip and rock it gently until it's fully inserted into your clip. Now take a wick sticker and peel away one side of your sticker, place it on the center bottom of your wick and clip assembly, and simply peel away the secondary side of adhesive. Now it's time to wick our vessels. Take your vessel and you're going to place the wick clip assembly into the center bottom of your vessel and press it down firmly. Now I've already pre-melted the wax, but typically you would cut up your wax, you would weigh it on a scale, and then you'll place it into a wax melter or a double boiler in order to melt it. The Aura Vessel holds about 12 ounces of wax, and I'm gonna use a 10% fragrance load today. If you need help with calculating your fragrance load, head to woodenwick.com and check out our fragrance calculator. To achieve a 10% fragrance load in a 12 ounce candle, I'm gonna be using 1.2 ounces of fragrance oil and 10.8 ounces of wax. So my wax is already ready to go. I am going to simply turn on my scale and I'm gonna measure out 10.8 ounces of melted wax. Be sure to use a scale that goes to at least two decimal places as this will help you to ensure you are measuring accurately and that you have the appropriate amount of melted wax and fragrance. Now take your fragrance oil and we're going to pour an additional 1.2 ounces now of fragrance oil into our melted wax.
Okay, fantastic. Now we're ready to mix our fragrance and wax together. Begin stirring and you want to stir for two to three minutes. I know this seems like a long time, but it's an important step to ensure that your fragrance and melted wax bind together properly and that you have a great cold and hot throw while your candle is burning. The cold throw is what's known as the scent that you perceive when the candle's not burning. And the hot throw, contrarily, is what you smell when the candle is burning. Scent is referred to as the number one reason why people choose to purchase a candle or why they come back to purchase one again. So making sure that you have an awesome hot and cold throw is an important step in any successful candle making venture. Now hang tight and let's keep stirring for another minute or two. We did it. Now for the best part, it's time to pour your candle. Carefully take your pitcher full of melted wax and your vessel and simply pour the liquefied wax slowly and carefully into your vessel. Pour the wax until about 3 16 of an inch or 0.2 inches, also known as 5 millimeters, remains above the surface of your wax. Leaving the appropriate wick height above your wax is an important step to ensure that your candle burns consistently throughout the entire life of it, from the first burn all the way down to the bottom. Hey guys, check it out! 24 hours later, and this is our finished color wick candle. Again, to recap the components we have here today, I used our Cocoa Apricot Cream Wax, our Iridescent Prism Aura Vessel, and our Daffodil Yellow Color Wick. Thank you guys so much for joining me in how to make a color wick candle today. Again, if you have questions on which color wick you should use for your specific candle project, head to our wick selection guide at woodenwick.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Happy making!